Yo, so before this video starts, uh, I just thought I would tell the people that regularly watch my videos, it's not like my regular videos, this is just like an arts and crafts video of like the process of me making a shift knob. So, it's pretty boring, um, there's really not much to it, so before you waste your time and watch the whole video, I just thought I'd let you know that if you're not into just seeing somebody make something, and just like the process I went through, then just don't watch this. Anyways, uh, here's the video. Hello, it is me, your boy, iPhone 6 having long hair ass. I have a fun video idea today. So, as you may know, um, I bought a commuter car, a little Ford Festiva. And it's perfect for delivering food, but it doesn't give me the scene points that I need in this growing economy. I want to do a little cosmetic upgrade and change the shift knob. And these guys locally that I know, or I guess I don't really know them, well, I know them through the interwebs. They live out a bit further than like downtown Vancouver. They make coffee can shift knobs. Um, they're not good, Norman. I'm just going to show you their site. I already have it up on my computer. So yeah, this is not good, Norman. I'm watching First We Feast notgoodnorman.com they do coffee can shift knobs and um i'll pull this one up so yeah it's like the little uh coffee you get in japan and the cans are probably like that tall or something they're not they're not that big anyways they make shift knobs out of them and i was like hey that'd be cool but i like to try doing stuff myself also they don't do it for ford even though i think ford's the same thread pitch but i gotta find that out anyways so yeah, they do it professionally. I'm gonna do it the not smart way. I don't know, I don't know how they do it. I asked Matt, I was like, any tips and tricks? And he was like, nope, cause it's my secret. And I was like, yeah, it's fair. If you're in the market for a cool shift knob, go check out Not Good Norman. They have cool products and decals and they're cool. Let's go to the scooter. So before I leave though, I gotta make sure that I know what thread pitch it is. So since I don't actually know what the thread pitch is because I couldn't really figure out what a Ford Festiva takes, I looked up other cars that are the same make as the Ford Festiva, like the Mazda 121 and stuff. And it says it's 10 by 1.25, but since I'm not entirely sure, I'm gonna take the shift knob with me. Uh, and then after I buy the coffee cans, I'm gonna go to Home Depot and I'm gonna get a nut, or not a nut, a bolt that's like the same pattern as this. And then, since this is what I screw it onto, um, I'm gonna thread a nut, I mean a bolt, into this. Riding in the mountain scooter, center there for YouTube. Okay, hopefully it starts. I actually don't know if it's gonna start or not, so we're about to find out. So cold out. Boy, I'm scooting here. Come on. This is a bad idea. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I'm gonna sneak through. Excuse me. Oncoming traffic. Fuck it. Construction site. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna sneak back in. Thank you. What are we doing? Light's still green. Why are we stopped? Oh lord. Almost got hit. Almost hit myself. Alright. I'm gonna sneak around this. We made it here alive. Posted up at the spot. Fujia. Hopefully they have what I want because it's a really small shop. So they actually didn't have what I wanted and they only had it in a bottle, but I need it in a can. So I gotta drive over to the Main Street one, or not Main Street, Clark one. And the Home Depot's near there too though, so it's really not that out of the way, but it would've just been nice to get it from the downtown one. But they had, it's mostly like for people who are just like working and they want like sushi for lunch or something, so it's small stuff. 
All right, over to Clark. Say hi to all the people. We've arrived at the other spot. The toot is parked out front. And I'm gonna go grab the cans now. Um, for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure a lot of you don't know, if you ever come to Vancouver and you wanna get sushi but you don't wanna pay like a whole bunch, come to Fujia and get like, get like that guy got, like a party platter or like, 2.99 California roll, 2.95 California roll. We are buying these. This is what we have to choose from today. I wanted to do this one as the shift knob because I like this one, it's clean. That's also really cool. I'm gonna buy two of these so when I fuck up the first one, I'll have another one. And I might just buy another one to make for fun. That looks kinda cool. I don't know. I'm gonna get two of the Coffee Boss milk ones, and then one of this. And then I think I'm just gonna make three of them, honestly. Or try to. But yeah, Fujia has everything. They have stuff for your home. Um, I forget what's over there. It's mostly just like condiments and stuff. They got drinks. They got snacks. They have fresh made sushi as well, too. So it's like a whole little Japanese department store. Now I'm just walking around filming stuff. See, look, they have seaweed. Stuff to make sushi with. Um, truth be told, I don't read, uh, I forget what the language is, can I, uh, I'm gonna butcher it, I'll put it on the screen. Um, I don't read that language, obviously, I don't really speak Japanese, but they have tons of stuff here. Yeah, so we're now done at Fujia, and we're gonna head over to Home Depot, which is over there, and then over there. Look, best part of the scooter right here. I have my coffee storage. One and two and three. There we go. Obligatory pullover to catch that 86 son. Oh, there's also a Ferrari. But there's an A86. Holy cow. Okay, back to the quest. Just over there. We are at the depot of homes now. Okay, so it turns out Lord Co. Or not Lord Co. Um, Home Depot does not have the right. Thing. 10 millimeters is the right diameter. That's the diameter of how wide this is. So it's one centimeter. But 0.15 is how many threads per centimeter or something? I don't really know. But I know it's not the right one because I need a 10 millimeter by 1.25. Okay, so Home Depot doesn't have the nuts or bolts that I need. But they might have the stuff that I can use to like cement inside the cans like Bondo or whatever, so I'm gonna go back and look for that. Okay, this is where the video starts falling apart because I need resin to be able to pour it into the can to make it actually hold the coupling nut. And I need the coupling nut, and Home Depot has resin, but it's like $60, and I need like an eighth of what they're selling. Okay, so I found a bunch of these epoxies. Are these epoxies? I don't know, it'll work. So I'm gonna just go for it and try this. So I got the epoxy, I have the Coffee Boss cans. Okay, we have it taped in there about as good as it's gonna get. We're about to put the epoxy in. What's up, form? Okay, um, it's way later in the day now, and I did a bit more research, and I figured out that, like, I knew what I had to get. I had to get, like, some type of resin, something that would pour in and harden up, you know? And, I don't know, I guess I just panicked at Home Depot, and I was like, oh, I'll just get this, it looks like it'll work. But I found something that'll actually work, and I saw used in another video. So yeah, this is it. It's at Home Depot, and it well, it should be at one near me, or Canadian Tire. That's what it is. Yeah. It pours, and it's a liquid. So, um, gonna do roughly the same thing I did today. Oh yeah, the one I did today turned out really bad. But like, do a hole right here. Maybe put the nut in, and then do another hole right here, and then put something in, so that. 
I can like stick something in to like anchor it so that when I'm trying to untwist it, the resin won't just like slide around in a circle inside. You see, this is why I bought more than one can. This is how my first can turned out. Absolutely retarded. I did not know why I was thinking that that stuff would work. Just gotta learn from your mistakes. <laughs> your boy, back at it again with the uh, skinny penis. It's day two, I'm going to get fiberglass and another bolt and then hopefully that's all. I'm filming Canadian Tire but I just got the resin and a drill bit. I'm going to try a different method. And now back to the co-op. This video is such a mess, there's just random shit everywhere now. This is the resin, it will pour in. This is the drill bit, and it's 9.5 millimeters, and this is 10 millimeters. So what I'm hoping is that I drill it in, basically down into there, like however far I wanna go. And then since it'll be almost the same diameter as this, I can just put this in the car. That's not my car. And then just thread it on. That's if everything goes well. And what we're gonna do now is fill this measuring cup up with this liquid because it doesn't say anywhere in Japanese how many milliliters are actually in this. And I need to find that out so that when I'm using the fiberglass, I know how much to use and I won't actually be wasting it. So pretty much 200 milliliters. Yeah, so it's a lot later in the day. Um, I was just hanging out with Nick and Finn to like saw a movie and stuff anyways um drilled holes in this and i measured out the amount of resin i need so i'm gonna pour it into this bowl and i marked it with a sharpie you can kind of see actually the markings right there um it'll fill up right to the rim right here so that it'll go through these holes that way when i drill into the main hole um and i go to screw it on to the like the shifter in my car, uh, the block, or I guess the cylinder inside the coffee cup won't just slide around in circles because it needs to be like locked in place, right? So I'm going to pour the resin, mix the resin, and then pour the resin into this. Okay, so I was about to pour and then I took a whiff of this and I remembered it smells really bad. So I'm going down to the garage to finish this right now. Alrighty, so I got it all poured up. Um, it's in there now. Okay, so I didn't really film what I did. This is 716, no, 764th drill bit first to do a small hole, quarter inch drill bit. And then finally, I moved up to the 3 8 drill bit, which is like 9.5 millimeters. So I basically just drilled a bunch of holes to be able to drill the final big hole. It is officially the morning. And I'm gonna go out there and try to fit it on. Ugh, it's so rainy out. Look at that. Oh, God. Okay, try to make this work. Oh. I gotta find a better place to put the phone. Yo, my forearms are tired AF from doing that. But it's on there now, and <laughs> it actually threaded. My plan actually worked, having like a smaller diameter hole drilled and then just threading it on. Um, it's on there tight, like it's not gonna come off. So I just made a coffee can shift knob. Um, so what have we learned? Uh, buy the right resin. Buy the right drill bits and do your research. And you too can do a coffee can shift knob for like, okay, well the coffee can itself is 243 Canadian. The resin, I bought enough resin to make four shift knobs, which was $30 Canadian. But that's basically all you need. And then if you have a drill, obviously a drill too. That's like all you need though. Wow. 
So there it is. I'm gonna do the other one because I like that one a bit more. Well, actually, you know what? I've come to really like this one. But as you can see, this is neutral. It's kind of close to the e-brake. That's first. That's second. Second comes way back now. Um, third, fourth, and then fifth. And then reverse is like over and then down. There we go, that's reverse. See, very close. But overall, I don't know, I'm gonna have to drive around with it obviously and see if I really like it. But I have seen points now, I'm cool now. The Ford Festiva is officially way cooler than it was. And I figured out I have an aux cord too, which is really cool. So there we go. That is a coffee can shift knob. Whoa, so kawaii. So, I'm sorry this video is probably going to be pretty long. I've, knowing me in the editing process, I've tried to trim it down a lot. I probably won't even include this in. Um, but if you did enjoy, thank you for watching. I, this is Quincy's Arts and Crafts. This is Billionaire Fox Arts and Crafts. That's what we're going to call this segment, where I do various arts and crafts, because I like doing arts and crafts. So, I guess this is like episode one of arts and crafts. Also, I will upload the mail unboxing soon. Half the packages I haven't even unboxed yet still. And, um, I just like, they're filmed on another camera and I have to edit it through Sony Vegas. And I'm being like really lazy with it and I just like, I don't know. I also have the whole UVic trip filmed on the other camera too that I have to edit through Sony Vegas. I don't even, like, I was drunk for most of those clips, so I don't even know what I got. Um, I will edit those soon though, I promise. I promise, you can hold me to it. As for the UVic trip though, I don't even know how much footage is really, if or even how I'm gonna use that for a video, but you guys will see. Anyways, um, I am Billionaire Fox, if you're new here. I do fun stuff sometimes, pretty monotone most of the other time. And if you want to subscribe, that's cool. Keep up to date with my life, my own personal TV show. And if you don't want to subscribe, I understand that completely too. But anyways, um, thanks for watching.